a house, a home. For most, it's a place to lay down at night. But to Bob Granada, it means a little bit more. It meant the whole, everything. Every, it was mine. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. This house was the first opportunity for Bob to live on his own and support himself. Oh, I'm really proud of that. I never thought I could do it. I never thought I could live on my own. But last week, Bob's everything literally came crashing down. From one end to the other, Bob has no roof, and it's beyond repair. A tree split and fell on Bob's home while he was trying to remove it from his yard with neighbors. And then Horry County condemned the home, leaving Bob with nowhere to go. But it's just one of those freak things where it could have happened to anybody. Clint Hardwick attends the Rock Church in Conway with Bob. He moved him into his home right away, but he knew that Bob needed a place of his own. This is a way to bring the community together to do something and cross all lines. They're calling their fundraiser Build Bob's House for a Buck, and they say all they're asking for is one dollar. If we can get 20,000 people to offer one dollar, then we can probably get Bob a nice place to stay. I asked Bob how it would feel to get a new home. He couldn't describe the feeling, but said he would place a more permanent thank you to show his gratitude. I'll put a big cross in the middle of my lawn. And put, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Rock. And um, in this display right in my front lawn. That's, uh, I couldn't express how much thankfulness 